Aí ela só, né? Okay. Vou chamar ela só, né? It's easy to get. It is. It's easy to get bound up. Boom. Nice. That was a good one. Take your time. See, you ain't got nothing there. You're pushing it. You're forcing. You're a forcer. You're a forcer. Yes. There it is. I was holding the goose. I was just. No, you aren't. You were laying over the goose. Gotcha. All right. Go. Switch. So now our locks become even more dynamic. Go slow, go slow. Go slow, don't drop each other. Remember, you have more control of the circle than they do. <laughs> yeah. Somebody hit him. Yeah. Whoa, your hand okay? Yeah. Good, uh, cradle, nice. That was a good one. Nice. Back to the cradle. Oh, you don't have to deal with that. There you go. There it is. Yes. Yeah. Set it into a lock, you know. Good. Take your time. Go slow. Go slow. Go slow. <laughs> Don't speed up because you're getting them. There it is. Damn. That is so close. <laughs> mm -hmm. Time. Relax. You guys see? You gotta slow down because you're like, yeah. you're gonna yeah. launch people. You're gonna break yeah. the ass. Especially yeah. if you don't Our have locking, it, you give them just a little push back, uh -huh. low resistance back. Our locking go. is dynamic uh -huh. instead of static. So every drill, every lock flow, every sensitivity move is based on escalation of force, right? It's not Matt grabs me and he's going to stand there like a dummy right. mm -hmm. while I do something awesome. I mean, that would be great. <laughs> you yeah, nice call all your buddies and tell them it's about possible. it. It's possible. Maybe Matt guy. was just posture. But if everybody I ever that ever laid hands on me or threatened to lay his hands on my Ohana was a worse fighter than me, and worse fighter than my Ohana, we need a lot of reason to train, right? right. You gotta presume, worst case scenario, he yes. knows something. He touches me, he's gonna hit me. I'm like, whoa, whoa! You okay? Yeah. Uh, this arm I've been using all night, so this one's a little tired. <laughs> <laughs> now yeah. I set these. Now Something I got inside ones. Yeah. I'm like, tell your friends. Just, just, let's go home, guys. <laughs> put, your hand on, put your hand on your head. Put your hand on your head. Uh, <laughs> Who's your man? Hey, you are. Really? <laughs> yeah. Are you promising? I, it feels like it. <laughs> <laughs> right? What did I do? Simple commands. Yeah. Simple commands. Why? Right. He's, under, he's under duress. He's uncovered. Right. But I don't want him flailing wild. I would hurt him on accident. Mm -hmm. Right. It's too easy to hurt somebody on accident. Under duress, you give direct, simple commands. You, in the black shirt, call the police now. Come back and tell me when you're done. Do you understand? Yeah. What are you going to do? Go call the police, come back when I'm done. All right, go, go, go! Yeah. Right? You've got to take control of the situation. Mind, body, and spirit. Right? Kaju Kimbo isn't just about beating people up. It's about beating people up with style. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it's about looking good go doing it. <laughs> Go. Right? It's about protecting your family, right? Protecting your loved ones, your ohana. Most people, what I've learned is how uh, are used to taking commands. So a lot of times you tell them something, they might automatically... Right, that's exactly yeah. right. If you are on scene as an active presence of authority, mm -hmm. most people are by definition sheep. Yeah. We are what? Sheep dogs. Sheep dogs. If you make it clear that you're not a wolf, they're likely to, to do what you say, oh, yeah. out of condition, or a sociological condition. Even if you're a wolf, they'll probably do what you say. How many times do you hear about people, you know, being assaulted and going along with just because of the threat yeah, of force? Yeah, hoping that agreeing with it is not, is, you know, Just the threat of force. People go along with violence and being robbed That's and mugged with just the, the threat of force. Scene. Exactly. There's no it's weapon even on display. First. And they go along it because they're scared of the threat of force. We do, uh, we learn in the physician world, you get a patient that's just being an ass. All right, take your pants off, just get down to your underwear and sit down on the desk or the table. 
And when they strip down and get on the underwear, they are at your mercy. Right. Oh, they're yeah. They're vulnerable. They're vulnerable because well, sociologically, they't... they're not accustomed to that state. Yeah, yeah. Right. They're right. not in control. Unless they're right? a Greek wrestler. Right. <laughs> <laughs> or just friendly. Right. Well, unless... <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. Do get some of that lemon essence oil. You can see it, like, the, it, when I go to my drill weekends, we go, we have to shower after we run and stuff. Biggest, most muscular guy there will be put a towel on, right. shimmy his underwear down, and then right. you know, pull his they're towel. Condo- they're, they're conditioned you, socially. Yeah, you're, you're loose. You feel vulnerable when you're naked. That's yeah. just all there is to I it. I feel like, woohoo! Yeah. But you know, uh, uh, Joanna so says I have to put pants on in public, so I have to do what she says. Motrin at 55. But you guys understand red what red we're doing here? Works good. Right? The only difference between our locks, again, and it doesn't matter what lock you do, you can make your own lock flow. You can start from a different lock. You can start from a different grab. It doesn't matter. That is not lock flow. Just keep moving. The transition is. Adam grabs me. I go strike here. Look, opposite side, I turn it over here. Look where I am. I'm straight in what? The blade lock. I go straight yeah, down S lock. Boom, turn it over, bang, I'm right here. Scoop. Strike. Pick it up, boom, back in here, right? It doesn't matter. Matt could grab me by the throat, two hands. I'm like, a strap, boom, turn it over, you okay? Yeah. Boom. Surprise. Boom, boom, right to the S-lock, or to the gooseneck, sorry, right? Turn it over, bang, palm up, right? Whatever I want, arm bars, reap the leg, cradle the neck, tell your friends, tell your friends. All right. They don't hear Ah, the big thing <laughs> yeah. too, just keeping them off balance. Right, the point yeah, of lock, exactly. Yeah, yeah, the like, moment I go at Matt, doesn't matter how tough I think I am, and Matt's got his base, he's got good posture, and I start doing stuff, he's gonna try to put it on me. If he knows anything about anything. Even people that don't know how to fight will often do it because they're scared. Right, mm-hmm. just out of the They'll fear. move. So instead, I go, <laughs> right? There he goes, right? Mm-hmm. So now look. <laughs> now this is humiliating. Yep. <laughs> it's, it's, I thought that was coming. I was just praying it wasn't gonna be in my arm. <laughs> but there's an, uh, yeah. it's entirely different, right? You grab me. I can do all kinds of stuff, but it doesn't matter. The moment you start fighting me for real, right? I start doing some fancy lock. You let go and just headbutt me in the face. Bang! I got a broken nose. Because and you can't see. For I the can't rest see. Of the fight. I'm, I'm, I'm blind. Okay. Right? Forward There's forward a big difference, forward difference forward. between training against a resistant opponent and, a and training with a partner who's pretending to resist. We're always resisting as much as we can within the confines of personal safety. Mm-hmm. So when he grabs me, let me go, oh man, come on, be cool. I don't want to hurt fight. Well, watch. He doesn't either. There we are. We're right back where we were a minute ago. They're your friends. Oh, shit. It's time to go, guys. <laughs> He's on. Pick it up. Goose. Right, right there it is. Yep. See it? Switch it out. Turn it over. Thumb set. Boom, compound goose. Canadian. 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 Right? I don't have to fight him. You okay? Yeah. If people always say martial arts are supposed to be so the little guy can defend himself against a bigger guy. And all the time, outside of places like BJJ, and even then they got weight classes nowadays, yeah. right? But what do you hear all the time? Judo, Taekwondo, BJJ, right? I don't want to fight him, he's too big. He's too big or he's yeah. in the wrong weight class. I'm glad he's not in my weight class. I've heard that a lot. I'm glad he's not in my weight class. Yeah. I mean, right? I've, I've said that before. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I've said it. It's like, I've, it's yeah, I've said, too, no, like, jujitsu is not about how big you are, how big your opponent is. And then, like, man, look at that guy. I'm glad I'm not in this weight class. All will, else being yeah. equal, size, size matters. does matter. I was, uh, when, when we first got Matt in class, I was like, Oh, he's a big guy. 
this is, uh, and my my initial response is, oh, okay, this is going to be an interesting day, and then I'm really excited to spar with another big guy because right, exactly. you have more opportunities yeah. to, yeah. to yeah. test your technique. Grapple. Yeah, yeah. I can learn. Yeah, this is the other thing I wanted to touch base on before we go, especially for the juniors, right? Uh, most people watching this video won't even know who a, a junior is, except we do, right? Because we don't wear belts half the time, right? But I want to talk something about forms, and some people call them kata, right? Or something like that, right? Kum say that. Kum say say in Korean, right? That is a two-man kind of, or a single-man kind of shadow boxing. Imaginary opponent. Kind of thing, right? You guys are familiar with the concept. Mm -hmm. We don't do that. I can teach you forms here. I can teach you the traditional one-man forms. There are several in Kachikimbo, but I don't teach you those. I teach you two-man forms instead. We call them two-man sets. Instead of training against an imaginary opponent, you're training against a live opponent. Yes. That's what Hubud is. I come in at him, boom, boom. This is a two-man set. It's a form. It's kata, mm -hmm. right? If we're doing... Uh, we're in here, me and Adam, for instance, doing six count, right? He comes in, right? That's a form, but it's a two-man set. It's actually called Sinawali, to be precise, right? This is a training form. So they learn dynamics and body mechanics and full work. Sinawali means to weave. Sinawali means to weave. My sticks are weaving in and out. Now I'm learning footwork and range and timing. All the things classical kata are supposed to teach you. But I'm doing it against a live person. It's more realistic. Yeah. yeah. There's See? Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. the game's on, right? Yeah. Now, obviously, eating people in the face with a stick yeah. is rude. Funny, but rude. But we do the same thing. If I can do it with a stick, I can do it with a knife. I can do it with a knife, I can do it empty hand. Now, the same thing we did with Hubud a minute ago, if, if Adam doesn't lose too fast, <laughs> yeah. he can now go to lock flow from here. Yep. Do six count. Mm -hmm. Now when he gets going, he can go to lock flow. Boom. And I can counter lock flow <laughs> because I know more than he does. Lock flow isn't static. It's dynamic. Mm -hmm. Which means I counter his counters. And he's like, I don't think so. I'm like, oh, nice. And he's like, throw me. And I'm like, no, I'm throwing you. And you're not like, throwing me. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right? There's a difference between constant training feed yeah. of information. Feed the difference between training with a resistant yep. opponent and training with a partner that's pretending to resist. Mm -hmm. You guys understand the principles behind lock flow? Sure. Sure. We'll be doing a lot of it. I'm going to put this video up. A friend of mine asked uh, a little bit, mentioned lock flow a little bit. Mm -hmm. gonna put it it's going to go on the master YouTube. You know, there's the video link on our page. Yeah. I put videos on the front page. Yeah. That's not our stuff. Our videos are always under yeah. the videos link. Mm -hmm. Right, stuff that's featuring us or our guys. Mm -hmm. So I'll put it up there sometimes. Questions? Yes, sir. Did you have fun? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Learn anything? Yeah. Anybody feeling all right? Yeah. How's your fingers, Tim? Great. Tones? All good. Wrist? Mm hmm. Everything? Looser yeah. now. Well, hell yeah. <laughs> You'll be ticking tomorrow. <laughs> guys, take some ibuprofen and stuff tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because our locks aren't static and so they start moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? Catch Kimbo for a dismissed him. Let me start using the low leap lowers. Um, <laughs> I can show you, but you're not going to like it. You're like, I'm tapping, I'm tapping. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Thank you, sir. All right. All I like that using it when somebody's coming in and swinging and then just yeah. boom, boom, just kind of. Now that you know the locks and you can transition, I go boom. Boom. There you are. Right, boom. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But it is. Now you're bang, 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 bang. You're not really thinking about it. You're just thinking. Yeah. And you're just keeping the movement going. Yeah. I got two. Oh, got six it. years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I got six years ago. I got six years ago. I got a little. I just was thinking that. Is this, is this hard? The drill is what I'm getting. You know, I, I've been doing them on punching bag. You know, so do I. At my dad's house. Yeah. I needed my son. I had a 15 year son. You gotta relax. You can't pull them. If you don't relax, you can't pull them. Very good. Very good. See you Thursday, sir. You know, so I used the punching bag. Aloha. Yeah. With the punching bag, because it's free floating on the bottom. It's not tied down. Yeah. So you gotta keep it. Where's Kaiju Kimbo from, Adam? 
Oh, Kimbo is from Hawaii. Where at? The uh, Palamas. Palamas, um, Palamas mm -hmm. Slum. It's actually Palamas Slum. It's a gym. Work out area. Mm -hmm. Four years. 1947 to 1949. Who's our founder? What's our, the primary founder known as? Tony? Uh, Adrian Imperato. The He's a... Uh, Cjo, What's the ka and Kajukimbo stand for, Matt? Karate. What's the ju stand for? Judo and jujitsu. Really? Jujitsu, judo. Just judo. Just jujitsu. Just jujitsu. Just jiu -jitsu. Just jiu -jitsu. Okay. When you say jujitsu, you imply, imply judo. judo. Yeah, judo is a sport for you. Judo is derived. Right. That's so yeah, that's right. That's a trick question. A lot of people say judo and jujitsu. Right. What's the ken stand for? Kenpo. Kenpo or Kimpo? Kempo. Both. That's right there. It's the same and different, right? What's yeah. the difference? Pronounced Kempo letter. both times. The letter N in Japanese is pronounced with the M sound. When it's written, it's supposed to be M, but N is pronounced with the M. Right? The kanji is the same, isn't it? Well, the characters are exactly the same. What does Kempo stand for in, in translation? Uh, the, uh, uh, martial way. Yeah. Oh, no, it's, oh, that's, uh, yeah. Kempo, Kempo in it's, Japanese uh, translated to Chinese is Shuan Fa. Which in, is fist law. In fist law, right? Mm -hmm. So, Shuan Fa, the characters are the same thing. You talk about Kung Fu, that's a word for mm -hmm. Shuan Fa. Yeah. Shuan Fa, Chinese box. Yeah. Shuan Fa. And then what does the bow stand for? Western, Western, Western Chinese box. So it's well, Chinese box. Right? Yeah, it's still. It's kind of redundant, right? Yeah, Kempo is a form of Chinese boxing, right? So it's redundant. Where does the stick stuff we do come from? Filipino like, you know, systems. Boxing, you know, obviously is Western Chinese. Um, so, you know, Kajikimbo is a lot more than just the sum of its parts, right? It's kind of a gestalt kind of system. Uh, we take the pieces that work and put them together and see if we can make them look better. Like, uh, I've, I've noticed that, like, uh, well, I mean, the way you teach us in a way, it's like, it's, it's, we actually study the martial arts instead of just train it. Right, right. And when I say well, a, a black belt in Kajikimbo is supposed to be an expert at the basics, an expert in martial arts. Not a black belt in a particular martial art. You're supposed to be an expert in the martial arts, which means you should know about Korean styles and Okinawan styles and Japanese and, and Thailand and you China. Book reports. You've got to do book reports. You've got to tell me about all these people in, in history, right? You should know. When somebody tells you, I study, you know, Ishinru, you should know that's from you know, Okinawa specifically, and you know, what fighting styles and what their form and what their hand positions look like and why. Because when they say that, they've just given you free information on their fighting style. Mm -hmm. Right? So by definition you know their strengths and weaknesses. Or at least you're familiar with them. Mm -hmm. But when you say, I'm a Kajikimbo man, they go, What's that? You go, bones. Yeah. Right? Because they haven't studied Half of them haven't studied about their own martial arts or history and tradition, right? They don't even know the dip, what, yeah. you know, where their stuff came from, not alone where our stuff came from. Mm -hmm. So they're relatively ignorant of the martial arts mm -hmm. and probably rather ignorant of their own martial arts. Yeah. So we try to fix that here. Yeah. You, know, you should know, you know Shoah Rims from Okinawa originally, all this stuff, you know, the Muay Thai. Surite, right. You know, Okinawa, you should know Muay Thai is from Thailand, Pali, and Gojo Rouge from Okinawa, created by Chojo Miyagi. There you go, exactly, exactly. 1906. That's exactly it. You should know these things, right? Because when you're speaking to someone about martial arts, they're probably ignorant of it. They just mm -hmm. want to know, are you a black belt? But you should be able to carry on an intelligent conversation. So within a few minutes of having <coughs> a conversation, yep. they realize they're out of their depth, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Right. I always tell people, you know, they probably haven't earned the right to discuss martial arts with them. And some people think that's arrogant. Yeah. I think it's honest. Mm -hmm. Right? I'll tell you what I can't stand is people who tell me that their hands are registered. Weapons. Yeah, that's ignorant. It's I, complete ignorance. I always say, show me that law. Get your it's phone out and show me the law. Really you know, do you know the, and how they would even track that. You know where it came from? Yeah. Uh, I, oh, there's yeah. two origins, I thought. One was the publicity stunt with boxers when they had the... Police That's officer. where they used it. That's where they used it from. Originally, it came from World, World War II. Two, right? Because they were getting in fights after training, and so right. because they were military property, their government property, uh -huh. when they got arrested by the local police, they, they couldn't be held. Yeah. They can't be held. They're government property. They're right. United States government property. Yeah. So the MPs got to be notified to get them. Uh, so what do you do? 
you register with the police station so they yeah. know who you are. So when you come in, they know exactly who you are and know the call the base. Yeah. That's but, where it but came it is from. They no were troublemakers. Way, yeah, it's in no it, it, that that was in no way implying like you exactly. Know, Cause I've had people swear yeah. to me. They're lying. That, yeah, and I'm like, look, if, it, I'm like, look, if you go, oh no, I saw the guy's car. Yeah, well, somebody scammed him. Yeah, you know, that's <laughs> what I say. Cause I, I can, yeah. you could find online places where it says, send in thirty five dollars and you'll get a certificate that you're a registered weapon. And yeah, of course, and, you know, and then you could frame it. He's whatever. Ignorant. And just ignorant, I've talked right? to several, yeah. several Marines that have told me that same thing, and I was like, cool, want to train? No, Two I, of them outweighed me by 45 pounds. I, like, I've, yeah, exactly. I've heard that so many times. It yeah, drives me nuts. And I'm like, I've been around, I've, I've been training martial arts right. for a while. I've been around a lot of black belts. And not, that's the thing you hear oh. about, but you never see. It's a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, getting all right, everybody? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Right for tomorrow. Yes. Catch you, Kimball, forever. I may be here tomorrow, depending on Derek. I will be here Thursday. Okay. All right. Works. So is there no uh, date yet set for uh, the Dover, Tennessee? Uh yeah.